So now that the warm weather is upon us, and I've been talking a lot about designer fragrances, new releases, high-end niche fragrances, indies, well, I haven't talked about many of the cheapy designers lately. So today, since it's starting to get warmer outside, I figured I would go through and talk about some of the best warm weather cheapies. And I'm not talking about clones, I'm talking about cheapy designers. Any of the ones that are usually under $50, even less than that, I'm trying to stick between like the 20 and 30 dollar range and that's what we're going to be talking about today 10 cheapy designers that are great for the high heat so without further ado let's get it <music> Good, my great smelling dudes welcome back to my channel my name is randy aka fragrance dude thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another video where i'm going to be going through a list of a lot of fragrances that i like to wear during the high heat and these ones are going to be ones that are going to be great on your wallet and honestly that's the best ones and that's why a lot of people reach for clones nowadays is because clones are very cost effective high quality clones that's what they are and so they're uh, most of them don't actually come off as high quality as the ones they're cloning um, but that's why people seem to get into them a lot uh, but today we're not going to be talking about clones again we're going to be talking about designers house designers like hugo boss and um just whatever other ones i have jimmy Choo, stuff like that that are really good fragrances to wear during the high heat that you don't have to spend too much money on. And while these may not be the best fragrances out there, they are definitely really, really good pickups. If you're looking for a solid collection of fragrances, these ones people wouldn't know whether they were $10 or $100. And I can tell you that for sure. Uh, with that, we're gonna start out with one of the ones that is definitely on the top of my list. It was probably the first cheapie I had in my collection that I still carry to this day because I've had it for years. This is Hugo Reversed. Hugo Reversed is, and if you can't find Hugo Reversed, which you can find Hugo fragrances usually at Burlington. If you can't find Hugo Reversed, Hugo Reflective is very, very, very similar to this. What this fragrance is, it's almost like Hugo Boss's version of like Elysium. Uh, if you ever smelled Lysium, it's almost like a citrus salad, and that's what this is. It has vetiver in it. It still smells like that Elysium style, but it's not as high quality. Uh, Elysium is a higher-end Roja Dove fragrance. Uh, with that said, this one has that vibe to it. And if you're not familiar with Elysium, you might be familiar with Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Uh, Light Blue Intense. This has vibes of that, too. And so it's almost like if you combine the two, it has grapefruit, it has mandarin orange, it has a nice citrus medley in there. I believe there's a little bit of lemon. And then as you get to the dry down, there's def definitely that effervescent woodiness. You definitely get some of that vetiver coming in. It's a very nice, cheapy fragrance that is very simplistic, very easy to wear, and I absolutely love it. It's a citrus, aromatic, fresh, clean fragrance. And if you want that, then you can get this for under 30 bucks pretty much anywhere. Hugo Reversed is a great fragrance. While the bottle isn't anything like to write home about, whatever, it's, it's still really nice. Going to the next one. This one is absolutely hyped beyond control. And I, I honestly don't know what to think about this fragrance half the time. It is a fruity woody fragrance. You just saw it. It is not a Cavoyage. I mean, everybody talks about this fragrance. I got this for $10 and you can get this a lot of times for $10, even though it's hyped so much now that the prices have gone just a little bit more up than that. But it's still a cheapie and not a Cavoyage. I actually sometimes prefer Nautica Blue to Voyage. Um, I'm not, as you can tell, I don't wear it a crazy amount of times, but I know people love it, so I just decided to put it in this video because look at the dust collecting. I mean, <laughs> I'm putting it on this list because I know a lot of people like it. And it is this nice apple. I think there's like something called like Lotus, which again, I haven't smelled Lotus before, but it almost has this watery aquatic feeling with a fruity top to it. It's fruity, it's fresh, it's slightly aquatic and watery. That's what it is. It's light and you have to spray it a, a thousand times in order for somebody to smell you. But Nautica Voyage is really nice. I mean, for those who like 
that. Um, it's just, it never was a hype piece for me. So I'll wear it like once a summer. And so I, I did buy a new bottle last year, but still, I, I'll wear it once a summer. But if you want to try out a cheapie that's hyped beyond control, Nautica Voyage is the one to go with. And I don't know if I 100% agree with that, but we'll see how that one works. So the next one on our list is one that is definitely on the beaten path. You don't really hear about these fragrances very much. There's three of them in this line, and I got all three last year thanks to Eddie, who put me onto the line, and I finally picked them up. This is Azaro Solarissimo, and it's Maritimo. And again, it's Solarissimo, um, and I always butcher that name, but it's Maritimo. That's what it is. And the, the line is Azaro Solosarmos. Solarissimo. Um, <laughs> see, I can't do it. But it's fresh citrus. It has this lemon citron opening, which brings a nice citrusy tone to it. It also has a wateriness to it coming from the note of Calypsone. Sometimes Calypsone can come off almost watermelony. Sometimes it can come off watery. And in this one, it comes off watery. And so you get this kind of watery citrus opening. It's fresh, it's airy, it's clean. And then as you get to the dry down, you get some woods in there. And that's pretty much the fragrance in a nutshell. It is a citrus, woody, fresh, clean fragrance with just this bright top. And it lasts about five hours. And if you can find this one, this one is, I think, the easiest one to find of all of them. The other ones are Lavonzo. So I wrote them down just so I didn't remember. Favignana and Lavonzo. And they are for different seasons. One's green. One is fruity and warm and has a rich vanillic to it. And this one is your fresh citrus. This also has a little bit of a saltiness to it. Um, like a little salty bite, which makes it even feel more aquatic. But it's really not an aquatic uh, fragrance at, at, at its core. It's more of a citrus aromatic fragrance at its core with this nice airy woodiness underneath it. And that is Zaro Maritimo or Zaro Solar C. I can't think of, I can't do it. Zaro Solarissimo and it's Maritimo. I have to be reading it. I can't say it if I'm not looking at it. Um, but that is a really nice fragrance and they have these nice little wood caps too. Uh, anyway, going into the next one. This one is a nice freshie that you can wear during the fall season as well because it does have some warmth to it. I love, I hate the original, but I like the note of plum in this that really does bog down that original's DNA, which is still active in here, but it is so bogged down that it is actually a really nice fragrance. It's Yop Ohm Ice. This one, okay, the original one, I would kick down a hill and rub it in dog shit because I hate that stuff so much. But this one, it has that Yop Ohm DNA, but it is not as pungent. It's not as in your face. And again, it has this fruity, warm, opening that just drops down that Yop Ohm DNA. And so this is gonna be your signature summer scent that is for a signature cheapie. And the plum note in here, the fruitiness to it, really does bog down that, ori that original DNA. And it makes it more modern, it makes it fruity, it makes it more mass appealing. And my wife hates the original Yop and she does like this as well. Um, well, out of this entire list, I wouldn't say, I'm looking over the list. I wouldn't say that this is necessarily my favorite of them all, uh, but it's up there. Uh, I would say it's probably like number two or three, but it, it's a really nice one because it has this citrus plum opening where you bring that freshness, you bring that citrus, you bring that summer pop to it. And then you, again, you have that warm fruity plum underneath it. You have a nice creamy sandalwood that goes underneath that. And even like a little baby bit, and I don't know if you guys get it, but I get it. You get like a little tinge of tobacco and you get that all mixed together with that Yopom DNA underneath it. And that is what you get with Yopom ice and it actually lasts and it projects, but it's not too strong, it's not too weak, it is above average, and it stays there for about eight to 10 hours. Yopom Ice, definitely a nice one. Yopom Ice, very nice. Uh, going into the next one, um, it's hard to talk on these because I haven't worn a lot of them in a long time. <laughs> uh, but this is gonna be your basic citrus aromatic. This is what started a lot of fragrance lines to 
be where it is today. It's still known as one of the Mount Rushmore fragrances for some people. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I like Light Blue O Intense, which is why I don't get as many wears out of this one. But it's still your Citrus Aromaticus, which started the DNA. It's still that grapefruit. It still has that Calabrian Bergamot. And I only know it's Calabrian Bergamot because I've read over the lines notes like a thousand times. But it's grapefruit. It's that Calabrian Bergamot. You get that marine aquatic tones underneath it that the line is known for. It is just a Citrus Aromatic watery fragrance that has this nice amber wood base. But I think that this wood... Uh, that that the amber wood comes in in the intense. Well, this one I believe is beech wood or birch, something like that. But there's a woodiness to it. It's not as ambery as the other one. There's still a little bit of an ambery tone to it. But citrus aromatic, fresh, clean, invigorating, zingy. That is what you get with light blue, and it lasts like three hours. It's watered down, but it smells great, and you can get it for like thirty bucks. So if you want something that you have to respray. That's what this one is, and it's really nice. Um, going into the next one, if you like Dior Homme Cologne, if you like Mercedes Benz Cologne, if you like YSL Y O Fresh, if you like the lemonade style fragrances, and you don't want to pay eighty to hundred bucks, and you want to pay like twenty bucks, Jimmy Choo Man Ice is where it's at, man. Jimmy Choo is that line. And they even have Jimmy Choo Man Aqua that came out last year. That's kind of like a blend of like YSL, YO Fresh and a couple other things. Really good fragrance. But this one is basically your dear own cologne, but for $20 and it only lasts like two hours. Jimmy Choo Man Ice is your lemonade fragrance for the high heat in the summer that you can spray a thousand times and not worry about it because you paid $20 for this. This is great. It is spicy, fresh, clean, zingy, lemon, bergamot, just pushed in your face it is so nice it does project and then it just dies out super quickly but it smells great jimmy chew man ice if you're looking for that cologne style fragrance and you don't want to spend more than 30 bucks jimmy chew man ice is exactly where you need to go i ain't talking more about that because that's all you really need to know same with this one uh, actually i'll go with this one first because i can do this in like three words this is perry ellis 360 red or the red dildo bottle and this is a slightly more synthetic Aqua de Joe. It's the original Aqua de Joe just in a dildo bottle and a little bit more synthetic, not as high quality notes, but if you want Aqua de Joe, it just a, smells like Aqua de Joe in the air. I don't care who you are. It smells like Aqua de Joe with like a little bit of cinnamon and it's really nice. I mean, it's, I'll, I'll probably never wear it, but I have it just so I could talk to you guys about it. But it smells like the original Aqua de Joe, which I have and I don't need this. But I have it just so I could talk about it and so I could do, 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 do. I mean, it's, it's a cool looking bottle. I mean, all of them are. They have the green, the blue. They're kind of tacky looking, but I feel like I'm a conductor or some shit. Uh, with that said, Perry Ellis, what am I, a conductor with holding, or holding a dildo? Which one? Uh, or I'm at like a, well, like a K-pop festival with like one of those light up light sticks. Um, but anyway... Yeah, Perry Ellis 360 Red. It is Aqua de Joe with a little bit of cinnamon, but just not as high quality. That's what it is. And it I don't remember how long it lasts, so check that out for yourself. Um, going into the next one. This one is, honestly, to me, it's almost like Louis Vuitton's um, Afternoon Swim. If you just wanted it for 20 bucks, it, it smells like that. It doesn't smell exactly like it. It's just in that same realm. This is CK1 Summer Days. I'm not even kidding you. I mean, the kumquat in this just comes off like orange. I mean, it's like a, it comes off like a high quality orange fragrance. And it, it's a effervescent. It's a little bit zingy. It's tart. And it just smells like what Afternoon Swim smells like just if you release it in a CK1 bottle. I mean, it doesn't like, it's not like 70 or 80% the same. I'm just saying it's like that style of DNA. If you like that orange from an afternoon swim and you want it to be in a cheaper bottle and it smells great. I mean, it does last like three, four hours, but who cares? CK1 Summer Days, it is probably the best CK1 that was ever released. I'm not even kidding. Outside of like the one in 2011, I think it was. This is great. This is great, great, great. Super simplistic. It's just, it's a woody effervescent orange it's orange 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 the kumquat i mean it's kumquat 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 it's it's just it's a good fragrance so get it 
I'm not even kidding. Just go to Burlington, pick it up for 19 bucks, and you won't be disappointed. Uh, going into the last two. This one's another simplistic one. Uh, it used to cost like 100 bucks at Sephora, but then they changed their bottles, and now you can find this at Marshall's every once in a while, even though I think it is discontinued now. Uh, it is Commodity Bergamot. Commodity Bergamot is just like a green bergamot with a little bit of a green herbaceous floral jasmine underneath it. And so a, a green herbaceous tone, I'm not saying that jasmine's herbaceous. It's a green herbaceous tone with some jasmine. So it's like green bergamot, green, a slight bit of green herbaceous tones, and then jasmine. But the bergamot really just rules the fragrance. It's another one of those lemonade style fragrances, except for this one is strictly bergamot. And bergamot just comes off like a green tartar citrus. And it's a very nice fragrance. I mean, this is going to be unisex through and through, men or women. It is a very nice, high quality, high smelling fragrance. Again, it used to be hundred and some dollars at Sephora. But if you want a nice citrusy, unisex, slightly floral uh, forward fragrance, Commodity Bergamot's exactly where it's going to be. Again, it has a little bit of a green tone, but for the most part, it is a green Bergamot with this jasmine underlay, and it's musky. That's what it is. It's Commodity Bergamot. It's super simplistic, but I like my summer fragrances simplistic, and this one does that. It's very, very nice. Going into the last one. This one really surprised me. I held off on it for so long. It's airy. It's super airy. It's light, but it smells so freaking good. This is Aqua Essenziel by Salvatore Ferragamo. And this is the original. It's well that, not the blue. This one is fresh, airy, clean, marine. It is just really fresh. If I had to say that there was a fresh, airy fragrance out there that legit just it was almost like a you, you spray yourself with a cloud. Aqua Essential is that. It legit is super fresh and clean. It just, it smells like what you would expect, like really thin linens at a beach club to be like, if you're like, go to like a beach hotel and you have like that, I don't know if anybody's ever been to a beach hotel or anything like that, but you have like that wind that comes in, that sea breeze that comes in the back door and you have the really thin sheets, that's that's just what it reminds me of. I honestly don't know why I'm even giving you guys that visual, but it just reminds me of clean linens in a beachfront hotel. It's very, very, very good fragrance, and it just doesn't last, and I don't care. Again, most of these I'm spraying on, they last three to four hours, and then I'm spraying something else on, or I'm just re-spraying this. Spray it 100 times, you'll still smell great. Fresh, clean, marine, it is great. That is Salvatore Ferragamo Aqua Senzial, and you should definitely pick that up. It has a little bit of a sea note vibe to it, like I said, like a sea breeze, but that's what it, it smells like a sea breeze. It's a fresh, clean sea breeze. Um, but yeah, let me know other cheapies that you guys want to choose. Again, this isn't necessarily my top, I just kind of went into my shelf. I'm like, hey, let's talk about these ones. Grabbed a big hug full of bottles and put them on my table. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, I'll be back with another one. Peace.